everyone, I'm Holly, and today I'm making an essential oil soap. This is going to be the juicy one. It is a just amazing citrus blend. And I've made it once before, but I made it in a coconut free recipe. This time I'm making it in my standard recipe, which does contain coconut. I'm going to add in the coconut milk. And I like to add it just to the oils. I can get it all blended in. I just use a portion of coconut milk so I don't have any troubles with it scorching. I'm going to add in the lye solution. Now I'm going to blend it up. I'm going to try not to scrape it on the metal, but there are times when I have to do that, I'll try to cut it out. It does seem to help to get a spatula involved and keep that soap moving around a bit more. The stick blender is just a little bit underpowered for this batch size. All right, that's looking really good. I'm trying to, how do I do this with only two hands? I'll right, we'll take that out. So I am going to go ahead and add in the essential oil now and then split it off. I hope that works out and I'm happy with it. I'm pretty sure it was an easygoing recipe, but mm, oh, it's like Skittles or it is very Skittles like actually. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It is going to discolor. It ends up being a light yellow in the end. I don't want to blend it too much because I'm going to be blending more in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this stick blender out. And I'm going to use this big spatula to get it all stirred in. Doesn't it look like orange juice? <laughs> so good. Oh my goodness, see, so once you start mixing it in, it's not that yellow anymore. So I'm going to pour some off for some colors. I'm gonna do pink, green, orange, and then we'll probably just do yellow in this base. This essential oil is a blend of just basically all the good citrus. We've got orange and lemon and grapefruit and lime and let's see. It, so it sounds like I'm saying let's see, but let's see ya. Let's see kubiba, I think it's called. So good. It is a blend that you can find on eocalc.com. Super good. So I'm going to split them off into these pitchers. Try to do it so I can pour a couple while I've got a hold of it. Oh, I, I spilt. I happened to slosh it just a little bit, I think is what happened there. Oh, that's heavy. Let's see, hmm. Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to go with a bigger pitcher for maybe the orange. This one yellow, I do believe. We'll do 
yellow, orange, pink, and green. All right, I guess I'll start with these. So we have the green, and I have this cutesy little spatula that I picked up on Amazon. A customer had sent me some, customer and viewer, had sent me some white ones, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love them so much. So I got a bunch of different sizes with this one. And they have a little pokey thing, point on the end, so that I could do, I could probably do some designs on top of a soap or something with those. So this does help me to scrape it out much better than with <laughs> popsicle sticks. Let's see, yes, orange, whoops. Looks like I got some down there at the bottom. It didn't get quite mixed in. I just used some of my batch oils to mix the colors. I just much prefer using the liquid. I do use dry colors if I'm doing a single colored batch. I can get them all mixed in at the beginning. That works really well. I'm gonna go ahead and put the yellow in even though I'm not gonna be in view really. Not that it needs help being yellow, but I thought maybe it'd give it a, a little bit more depth. Still very thin, so I will give it all a bit more of a blend here in just a moment. How many people did I mess with by grabbing the blue spatula instead of matching it with green? <laughs> Mixing things up, getting things. We're being wild and crazy here. We're not matching colors to our spatulas today. <laughs> our spatulas, spatulas. That's what Paula Dean might say. <laughs> I tend to speak a little southern every now and again. I used to work with a guy that was from, whoa, that is a mess. My boss in Florida, he was from South Carolina. And I picked that up. And I've just been doing all sorts of family ancestry research. Boy, I mean, it's not South South, but we got a lot of Virginia and West Virginia and Ridge Runners and all sorts of type people in my bloodlines. Okay, so I'm going to give this all a blend. Oh, aren't they so pretty? Oh my goodness. You guys are so pretty. Looking beautiful. I do want this to be in a trace when I get to the pouring portion. It's looking good. It's like just right there at a light trace. Since I have the time, I'm going to go ahead and scrape some some of this off so I'm not putting a lot of pink into the green and that could it really wouldn't make a big difference but anytime you mix pink and green together you start to get brown all right so by the time I get organized around here. Well, there I'm putting the pink in anyway. By the time I get organized here, clean off some space to work, 
it'll probably be ready to go. All right, so it's starting to get a little thick. I'm going to put in some pink first. Ooh, you know what? Let's do pink and some orange. We're just gonna do a little bit there. That's gorgeous. All right, let's shift just a little bit so I can get to it a little bit more myself. I probably should have just left it those three colors, I'm thinking. Hopefully the green won't be too wild. Get too muddy in here. It's pretty thick, so I think we'll be all right. Put a little bit more of the yellow in. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Okay, well hopefully that's not gotten too wild all up in there. So pretty. I will go with the last of the green. Okay, so we're down to just scraping on those. That one will have a little bit more because the container is bigger. Looks like I need to give this yellow a little stir down in here. I do see some spots that could be a little bit muddy. Not overly concerned about it though. Just based on the thickness of the soap, I think it's gonna be all right. The next time I might do maybe a, a lighter green that's kinda just past yellow maybe. We'll see. Now this green does actually lighten up a bit. Quite a lot actually. So that's good. Hmm. Maybe I'll do a splatter on this one. Hmm. Thinking. Quite a bit of yellow left, so I think what I'll do is get some of the other colors in. I think this is just going to be a beautiful soap. I'm really excited about it. I might be a little bit more eager to get into this batch than normal. Some people are always surprised at how patient I am. I tend to let things sit longer than most people would. But I don't know, I might have to get into this one a little bit sooner. Because it is just gorgeous. 
Okay, so here we have the Juicy Essential Oil Soap, and I'll see you back here for the cut. All right, so I have come back with the slab of soap, and it's kind of a pain because it's super heavy. And let's see. This, uh, I'll show you what happens actually. I kind of have it propped up. This is what happens. This whole thing just flops over. So, kind of have a couple of mica jars here to help hold it up so I can get it in position. This is the nature of soap making. It seems to be always all over my, my jacket. Okay, so for this one, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to cut just a little slice off of it. And we don't typically show this part because it does take a little while to get this all maneuvered. These are pretty heavy, so my husband usually just tries to take care of it for me. So this piece here, I don't know if you can see it, it can shimmy just a little bit, and then my measurements will be off. So I'm just trying to pay super close attention to that, and I have a little masking tape mark right there. Looks like that needs to go over just a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't always sit flush right here. Okay, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> Can't see if I'm in a good spot or not. Hey, that looks cool. Kind of a fun look there. So then push it over just a little bit. And then I'm going to move it over to my two and a half inch because I make them two and a half inches wide. So I'm good there. Seems to be good there. Ah, something's going on here. I'm having considerable issue. This is plastic, so it's not running on the runners quite right all of a sudden. I just got done cutting another batch of soap and it was fine. Doesn't feel like I made a groove where I stopped, so that's good. These slimes are quite heavy and we find that it's kind of too much for this one. I need to I think it would just be easier to have one that would cut most of it at once, but that's not what I have right now. So let's do another cut. Yeah, something's wrong. I'm going to have to check it. It does seem to be sliding a bit better now, so let's just give this another try. There we go. I don't know what was wrong with it. I didn't really do anything to fix it. Just slid it out and tried it again. So I'm gonna do one more, let's see, two more major cuts, I guess. So this will be the last one. No, it won't. What did it do? This one and another for the loaves. Hoping I'm doing a good job. Looks pretty good. Looks nice. All right, so now I'm gonna do one more here. We have extra on each edge to help us have samples and kind of a buffer zone. All right, let's give this a try. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, so it's looking good. So then we have this chunk too, which is, is fairly thick and we'll be able to cut it in half and then we'll make bars for samples. All right, so let's get these cut up. I don't love this camera angle for this particular camera because it has a little bit of a fuller frame. So I feel like you're a little bit too high, but I'm gonna have to buy some equipment to fix that. So I hope you don't mind too much for now. We're just gonna see if we can get it done anyway. So I'm just gonna take a little bit off the end here. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Love it. The top is super pretty. I really like the splattered look on this particular design. It's a nice one. So good. This just smells amazing. I just can't get over how good this one is. It's just a really spectacular fragrance. Essential oil blend, scent anyway, but it's an essential oil blend. Oh, this one's really pretty. I love that. It's always good to be different from the inside to the side lobes just because of the way it kind of flows in and pushes around it looks like it got just a little air pocket there so I feel like it'll take me about forever to <laughs> line these all up if that's what I do forgot to bring over something to wipe those off Ooh, that is really, really a thin slice. Hmm, nice. It's such a dark, heavy, heavy cloud day today. I was really trying to get a nice picture while I had them in loaves. Because that's usually what I try to do. I usually try to get some loaf pictures and then try to get some. This one's a lot of green. Look at that. Not very much pink on this one at all. Um, I try to get loaf pictures and and such before I cut all the bars up, but it's just not working today. I have a little photography light set up in my dormer where I take pictures. <laughs> it's like super bright, but not bright enough at the same time. It almost makes me... <laughs> I used to think there's like something nuclear going on when I catch it in my peripheral vision. But that's winter in Missouri. It really is. Let's see. Oh, geez. I damaged it just a little bit. I've got to make space here. I probably would just be, you know what, I'm just going to move this. I usually just kind of try to stack it as I go, but that's just irritating me a little bit today. Just, I'll just transfer them, I guess. Let's move forward. Oh, pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Now I do have a little bit, I call it inside ash. It was a little thin when I started pouring. And that can happen sometimes. I seem to get that in my multi-colored batches. And sometimes it'll go away. Sometimes it just needs a little bit of time to just kind of cure. But sometimes it stays. It's not really a big deal. And sometimes it'll even just plane off. And the inside layer will be, or, you know, the inside will be just a little bit different. So. It's a-okay. This one started to get a little extra swirled, maybe a smidge muddy there, but not too bad. Love that. This just is so pretty. I just love how each bar is different. That just 
That really makes me quite happy. Let's clean these off just a little bit. I'm going to bevel these bars anyway, so it's not a big deal, but sometimes it can make a groove mark as it, as the blade, the wire, I should say, goes through. You might be able to see what I'm talking about, the modeling right here in the orange. Hopefully that's nice and focused for you. So this bar isn't that swirled at all. Kind of a angly layered thing going on. This one has that, but then on this side, it's super pretty, it's swirled. <laughs> I just, I look at it with delight and think, I just, I really like you. I just really, really like you. <laughs> kind of feels like my heart and soul is into it. So it ends up kind of being, each creation ends up being a little bit like my baby, you know? Nice. So I think I will just go ahead and cut the other two. I might speed it up with my, I'll probably bring the tray back over and everything and speed it up a little bit but I'll just give you an idea of how I go from here. All right, thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.